What we do is to take youngsters who are experiencing difficulties in their life, usually adolescents up to now, um, within the spectrum of the social, emotional and behavioural um, area. Getting young people to think and to think more carefully and deeply about themselves, their lives, uh, what life might mean to them at this moment, and maybe what life might mean to them in the future. The emphasis isn't necessarily on qualifications and the, the outcomes as far as academic results are concerned. It's more with uh, developing the young person so that they can um, fit into society. Once the young people are with us, it's usually their last stop uh, and they haven't got many other options. So when we do have young people here, they usually sort of extremely challenging against authority and, and schools. Because of the size of the groups that we work with and the individual support that we give, we gain their trust and that is amazing when they will come to you and ask for your assistance and your help. We find time to listen to them. They value this highly. We will sit down with them and if there's an issue, we will talk the issue through with them. Actively listen take in and digest and think about what those young people are saying and then think about yourself how what you're going to say to them and how you're going to react to them um, and experience things with them share things with them at break times and lunch times we don't sit in the staff room we sit with the kids we're always together and so you can use those times then just to ask them about what they did over the weekend what they've got going on and then you build a relationship that way and then when they come back into the classroom you can say right work time now you told me you want to do this you said you want this to be your goal for life and I'm going to make sure you get it the importance is developing the relationship between the young people and the, the teacher so that uh, you've got a positive atmosphere within, the, within a classroom. If you've got a positive atmosphere within the classroom, then that means that it makes the teaching of the subject a lot easier. I can get passionate about maths and I can do it in such a way that makes them feel really good about what they're doing. And because of that, they like coming to my lessons because they know they're going to get praised. The colour feedback system is an evaluative system that is used at the end of every lesson. And each week, just by looking at colours, they can see how well they're doing, what progress they're making, or if there's any areas of weakness where it is. The most important part of education is learning to interrelate successfully with other people and being able to manage uh, those interpersonal relationships at some kind of meaningful level. Not hitting other people, but explaining your views, putting them over in a logical and reasoned kind of way. And youngsters can learn to do that and they do learn to do that, but it's through praxis. When you have a young person come through the door, they could have all sorts of outside issues. And if we can just go a little way into helping them to be a better person, um, it really gives you a sense of pride in them, really. They're in an atmosphere which um, I think values them uh, and uh, encourages them to succeed. It's about their development. It's about enabling them to be more resourceful, more uh, capable uh, adults in the future.